Hello everyone, this is Mr. Tweester, and today I'm going to do a BFDA A5B tutorial on how to collect all of the win tokens. If you haven't been in the game yet, or you don't know the basics, I recommend you watch my first tutorial on how to beat levels 1 through 52. I can link that out in a card right now. So we're going to click continue the game. And here are 52 waiting tokens. If you get all of them, they're all green. A lot of them are hard to find or difficult to get, and I know a lot of people have trouble getting them. So I'm going to make this tutorial on how to help with them. All right. I'm also going to be skipping through the text. I also have a keyboard visualizer at the bottom if you still need help. This one is pretty easy. You jump onto the conveyor belt here, and then jump to the door, make sure you don't go through the door before you collect it. And by the way, these are transparent before you beat the level with them. Before you beat the level with them, um, this will look yellow, and then I'll turn green afterwards. All right, so this one, you jump up to the left, and then you need to jump off here to the right, and it's gonna be a very hard jump. There. So there I made it, you might need to lean over and jump, or you might need a running start. Then after that, just complete the level like normal. Right, three. Right, this one is down at the third part here. You need to also lean over and jump back quickly to get it. And then this is a low ceiling, so you only have a short time to jump and get back safely, like that. All right, and jump over here and finish the level. All right, normally you would only go down here, but the wind token is here. So what you want to do is stand on this step right here and then jump off of it. Might be a, might need a few tries. And the wind token's over here. All you have to do is go back and you're done. All right. A few of them are easy. There's not a lot of places that they can hide on some of the easy levels. All right, so you're gonna continue this level as usual first. But then you'll see it's up here above book. So what you want to do is lean over here, place it down close enough so you can grab it. Jump off here. You need this metal crate over here and throw it off there and then close enough so you can grab it so then you can stack these two and now they're tall enough so that book can reach the wind token throw it far enough so you can grab one of these either of them work um, let's just use the metal box and um, I'm not gonna do a uh, I'm trying to keep the method simple we're getting them, like avoiding all the advanced ways to get them. But um, some of them have a few ways to get them. So I could point those out. So just then you beat the level like normal. Okay, this one is down here. And obviously you would hit the spikes, the book would die if you did that. So what you want to do is you want to get this wooden box and then lean over and then it's just short enough that book can get it safely All right then use these blocks you throw these over and beat the level like normal All right Stack these boxes up. And there we go, level 7. Okay, what you want to do is go down here. The wind token will be over here. These are, there are spikes here, so be careful. Drop down. 
Alright, go to this spring, make your way over, and wait, wait so that you don't hit a spike up here. You can also hit your head on here and drop back down to not go back up. Alright, and then you finish the level like normal. Alright. Level 8. So you need the companion cube box, put it down there. You get the one token up there. Alright, pick it up. Toss the box up there. Toss it over there. Now it's high enough so that you can get it. Lay it down on the button, and you finish the level. Okay, level 9. Put the box on the blue button. Flip this yellow switch. Jump up. Alright. You can make it across or you can throw it and try to not activate the lever there. You need the box to get through that part. Alright, the wind token will be over here. We're going to need our make our way to the left. Alright, carry the box over here, and then we're going to hold left here, put down the box right here, and jump up to get the wind token. And if you, if you still need help, you could leave a comment and I could try to help you if you describe your problem, if you can't get a wind token. Alright. Oh, wait. I just, I got it the... Speed run way, I think. So that's another way to get the box. I mean, I missed that. You don't need the box anymore, so you can just complete the level. Alright, level 10. So don't stand in front of the door. Quickly jump off here. Jump off to the wind token. And then you finish the level. Alright, this one is another easy one. So, run, uh, jump across here, because if you stay in front of that too long it activates, and jump off of this platform, and then you complete the level. This one token is pretty hard. What you want to do is, is go down in a zigzag motion so that you don't hit the spike like that. All right, you want to jump across here with enough distance and you don't want to bump against this part here because then you want to have, have enough distance right there. You want to dodge these spikes so you can jump against the wall right there, jump up, clear over the spikes. This is a low ceiling that you don't want to hit. All right, and then this is a very tight jump. There we go. Alright, this one took me a lot of tries the first time I got it. Alright, there we go. Alright, if you got the level 12 win token, you deserve a pat on the back. You want to stack these boxes up to the left over here. So if you... Um, these aren't affected by gravity, by the way. If you stack them up close enough, you can just lean over and get them, but you can also run off and then drift to the right. Then you will just beat the level like normal. And there we go. Alright, this one token is above here at the start. 
You want to make your way to the top left. Alright. Like so, jump off. Get the token there. Alright, dodge these spikes. Oh, okay. There we go. Beautiful. Jump to the end. And you're done with 14. Okay, number 15. This one is in the pathway. So just lean over. Don't drop off. And then the rest is level as normal. Jump off here. And you're done. Okay, this one token, you get by the spring, jump to the right. And you get there by going from this treadmill, jumping onto the spring, onto that one, and to the right. Wait for these spikes. Then jump off. Go right from the spring and do the treadmills over and jump off here and you did it. Level 17. Flip this CL switch. This one token is over by the second yellow switch. Um, you want to keep this one on, don't flip the switch, you want to drop down and drift to the right. And you can land on this one. You might land on there, so then you jump off down here. And then you want to get back up to the yellow switch and turn it on. And that allows you to finish the level. Level 18. Okay. Level 18, you want to jump off the spikes. You want to jump down here, but then you want to stutter step with the left key so that you can, so that you don't uh, fall off the treadmill here. Reach the wind token, then you can jump off and finish the level. Level 19. Oh wait, we don't go there yet. That's the speedrun route. Alright. Uh, you can drift to the right and fit in between the east to get the wind token. Yeah. Alright, flip the blue switch. Pick up the box, put it down on the yellow button. Now you can get match. So another way to get this is to drop match and then quickly pick her back up. Like that. Okay, 20. So this one is another one where you need to lean, jump off, and then drift back like so. The rest is the usual. And there we go. Alright, we are going to go to level 21. For this one, you can throw a book over. Book can lean to get the wind token. Throw a match up there. Match can turn the lever on. And then they finish the level. Alright. 
This is a law of level 22. You need to get up to this section over here. And the one token's gonna be up here. What you wanna do is put down the create at that button, step on the green button so all the pillars come down. You get the box again. Okay, you can put down the box. Okay, the box is back up there. You want the box to get the wind token. There we go, okay. Stack up the pillars. Want to put the one crate at the very edge so you can jump off and get it. So now we want the yellow, yellow switch here. Flip the yellow switch. Match can go back down to the door. And book goes to the door. And there you go. Alright. This one you need to quickly go in and get out. Like there. You might want to find your timing for that. You want to go when the spike is up. But uh, by the time you get there, it might be down so you might want to go when it's down. It depends on how good you are re reacting to it. You, you just might want to find a good timing for that. Like uh, I'll show you here. What do I look for? Um, I guess I just see when it's going up. I'm gonna go in and out like that. All right, this one is at the top left. Okay, you can throw a book over here. All right, book can jump back. Same match can or what you can also do is pick up match in the air like that if you switch to book. So what you do is match jumps, book switches. You switch to book and then press up like that. But you can make the jump from from the right to the left with match. Oh, well, there I did it. Okay, throw a book up. Put up there. Or put a book up there and then you can finish. Twenty-five, so bye bye book. We recover book. We can throw an HPRC to the bottom. We take another HPRC with us. Now let's match get it. Uh, we don't need the HPRC now. We can finish the level. Okay, this one is a little hard to recover book. Cover match. 
So it's inside of here, and you get past the spikes. All you can do is have a match over there, and then uh, I actually got a perfect here. You can put the small HPRC here so you can try again quicker. You can, it's kind of precise, but you can throw it under this part. So you want to get from here to there first, and what I like to see is when um, this is in the down position, and then this is in a way so that book can go through. So like, uh, now is a good time, and don't hit the ceiling there, like I did. There we go, okay. Wait for that spike, jump over here. And then you wanna get this spike when it's not going down so you can wait for it to go here and when it comes back up to walk in. Like there, you'll pretty much always die over there. I don't know if you can survive that one, but uh, you just Recover book and beat that level. 27. Right, throw the H Percy. Recover book. Throw the other one. Recover match. One you want to do is throw a match up there. Actually, we can clean it over so that match won't fall down. Alright, and then we beat the level like normal. Alright. Put that down up there. Turn the green platforms on. Book can jump back up. And we are done. 28. This one's in the top right. So, so far it's normal, but you will notice that it's too high for Book to just get on herself. Okay. So there is a conveyor belt at the bottom here, which you can recover uh, the characters through there. You can put the HPRC down, and uh, the small HPRC goes over there, and you can recover there at the end, but... For now, we want the small HPRC. Throw it over there. Oh, match goes back down. We didn't need her yet. Carry the HPRC here. Right now, oh, that is a good spot, but we would put it down at the edge, jump off, and you get it. Right, throw the HPRC off. It'll actually stop on the spikes. Oh, okay. So now... Ooh, good thing I wasn't over the pit. Okay. Now we finish the level. You can put that there. It goes through with the treadmill. Book is recovered. You throw that HPRC there. And recover match. And there's 28. 29. This one is also at the very top right. This part is normal so far. You throw the HPRC off. Recover the other person. Throw the big HPRC. I've had a lot of practice with this part, but uh, it was very hard when I started. Probably is for everyone. Okay, so you want one person down here, or object, I guess. You turn on the green switch. Um, throw the HPRCs up here. What you need is a HPRC piece to stay down there, 
So I have both of them. You can get back up. You can throw a match up here. Alright. I'll take the small one with book. The rest is the usual. Take this out. Take the HPRC. You had to wait there. Whoop! Wow. Stack these on top, and you're done. That is a very long level. But you're... Whatever, okay. I didn't know what my train of thought was there. Okay. Throw a book off. Match can get across. You can also switch to book and catch her in midair. Like, uh, I'll just show that quickly. But you don't have to. Like that. Throw a match up there, and that's it. That one's pretty easy. This one is over at the left. You need to watch out for both of the spikes. Throw a book up. Right, there is like a brick. Flip on the yellow switch. Okay, match gets the one token. Only she can fit through it, through there. All right, win token. Watch out for the spikes, and we are done. Thirty-two. Right. Recover both of them. Oh wait, uh, you recover Lego Brick. Stack the HPRC so that you can throw a Lego Brick over there. I guess um, anyone can collect it. NPCs can collect one tokens. Recover Lego Brick. And we finish. Thirty-three. Okay. Wind tokens at the bottom. Throw a book up. Wait, no. <laughs> Throw match up. Turn on the blue cubes. Fun fact book can be inside of these because of that. Alright. Uh you switch the book and grab match in midair. And you're done with that level. Okay, level 34. This one is also pretty hard. Okay, level 34. This one is pretty hard. So, so far, our level is normal. A cover match over here. So, you want to throw the HP yourself. Recover match. Want to Stack these up so book can get up there, but then wait. you want the you want the HPCs over here so that they're not in the spike area. Book jumps across. 
Switch is on. The yellow switch. You can recover book. Get the small HP or C. There. Recover match. Jump on spring. Got that first try. It's pretty hard to jump in between. There is that level. 35. Okay. This one you need a runoff. Midair grab match. This one is over here. We can get it right now. Just throw a book up there and you can get it. That one's pretty easy. After that it's just the same level. Okay, bonus tip, you can move that to the left so that Natch can get back in in case Book dies. Okay, um, I can throw a book there, either one of them. And there it is. 36. This one token's at the end of the level. Luckily we have the HP here. So you get as much tries as you want. Part two, and I died. After you flip the switch, you can just jump out of spike and recover. Okay, now we need match for later, but we need this crate. Alright, put it on the edge, flip over the blue switch. Don't finish the level quite yet. Okay. So you can actually press it up against the wall and not. Get hit by the bus eye there. Get that one token there. You can recover much in case you didn't make it back. Alright. Match filter. We need to bring the pillar back up to the left so that Match can get the wind token. Okay. There. You can throw it up there. We can get. Oh, no! We need Match to get back through. I forgot. Okay. Put it down there. Match gets back up. Okay. Okay. There we go. You can put the pillar on the edge here.
jump at it, but not hit the slimes. And you immediately hold right to get back. Okay. Okay. Thirty-eight. You can start off with the boxes here. Okay, now we need book to get the one token. Okay, do not hit the spike up there. Okay, what you can do is jump back down his book and jump over jump over to the left. You can also grab book with match and then jump back that way. I found that to be a little easier. Okay, we did 30, 39. I have to wait for the second one. Match turns the green switch on. Okay. What you want to do is throw a book to the left. There, switch to book, and you finish. Level 40. Throw a book across. Ooh. Okay. What you can do is work on the yellow switch first. Turn that on, get the bridge. You can toss it inside there. And it's low enough so that anyone can get it. So a uh, second way you can do that is lean over, drop down match, drop her and quickly pick her back up. That way you can use the bridge for something else if you need it. Okay. Then you finish the level. Midair grab match. Okay. This one is a bit tricky. You want to save one of these boxes. Okay. Jump over with match since she jumps high. Okay. Alright. So we can use both of these crates. The crates fall pretty fast in the lava. So this green box might be easier. Alright, throw it over. Put it down there. Make sure both of them aren't in front of the door too early. You can throw a book up here. Once Smash jumps up there, and it's in the very top left. Make your way back, and you're done. Okay, this is um. This is a speedrun strat, but it doesn't need a box, so you might find it easier 
grab onto book and then you mash the up button so that you um you throw what well what just happened is that you throw book, grab book in the midair, and then throw her up higher. And then that way you can get up without the box. You can midair grab Mitch. And that's how you get up there with no box. You might find that easier if you can't get the box up there. Okay, 42. This one's up at the top, but it's a little too low for you to just get it. So we are going to unlock the last character in Ice Cube. Ice Cube goes up there, turns off the spike. Now let's sign off so that we can get the one token. I guess you can take the crate back. Oh, mid air grab match if you don't have the crate. Wait. Oh, you need a double press email. Or you can bring the crate back, I think. Okay, you need the small HPRC. Throw it across. Recover the people. Um, okay. Now someone could go over here, get the one token. You can recover them if they die. The rest is the usual. Forty-four. This one can be. You can get it with book or match. With this one, you can um, jump across the side over here because the slide doesn't kill you. Only the bottom does. Lean against it, and then you can get the one token there as match. But I will also show you how to get it as book. Okay. What you want is enough momentum, and then you jump off the treadmill high enough so that you get the one token. And I missed. <laughs> can I... oh I can retry. So that was not good enough. There we go. This cube makes it through. Puck throws ice cube up. That level's done. 45. This one is at the top left. Alright, there we go. So what you wanted to do is jump when the spike is over here to the right. It's a uh, very tight timing. What I look for is when it's in the middle from moving to the left to the right. You might want to find your timing for that. Ooh, wait, okay. There we go. So what you can do to make this easier is to go from the hardest character to the easiest, just in case you need to reset. Alright, so I find Book the easiest, so I do her last, and then Ice Cube second easiest. Okay. There's NPCs here. Um, NPCs can collect the one token, so you can throw the NPCs to collect the one token. To an waffle. If you're feeling mean to them, or you don't care. What you can also do is, ooh. What you also do is drop match and then quickly pick her up in midair. That is another way to get it.
47. This one is quite a doozy. It's at the it's at the end of a long level. Okay, switch that on. What you want to do is carry match, and we're gonna jump onto the treadmill over there. Or oh, okay, you couldn't see that, but okay. Oh no! Recover book. So what we're doing is jumping onto this treadmill, jump over there. Book jumps off of there, throws match. And she can go far enough to get tune. This one's pretty hard. This spike moves in a figure eight. Alright. Nope. Treadmill, treadmill, jump, throw. Now we can get tune. So what you want to do is get tuned to the end of the level. You can also recover the NPCs too with the HPRC. I'll just show that right now, I guess. So yeah, a tune will actually show up in the menu. Right. Yeah, tune. We'll get book next to grab that green box. Jump. Oh wait, yeah, the green box up over there. Okay, leave book down here. Flip the treadmill direction so that ice cube can jump to the blue switch. Oh, okay. Switch back over. So what I do here is I want to throw tune over onto this um, safe part here, then throw tune up here. Okay, like so. You can also um, try getting tune over there and then throwing him over before he falls off, or grabbing tune in the air and then yeah, you know, you uh, throw a tune, grab tune in midair, and then you get over there. A few ways to do that. Okay, now that we have tune. So what tune allows us to do is survive this spring jump over there. But to get tune to the bottom, uh, the bottom right, you need to throw tune so that he lands underneath here. needs to be just far enough so that he doesn't, so that he goes forward enough but not too high so that he hits the wall. Okay, now we have tune. We're gonna pick up tune, rush through, jump. Now we have the one token. Now I finish the level. Okay. When I make your way through the heater, pause in between them. It's going to be very precise. Um, you can get back here or you can recover book with the HPC. Okay, I died there. Flip the all switch on and recover book. The rest is the usual. Um, Okay, match stays there, book flips that on, match jumps. Okay, now get book to the HPRC. Don't bump your head on the ceiling. Want to melt ice cube, recover ice cube. And now we're done. 49. Okay, we're going to take Book and match first. Uh, match can do this one first. 
match jumps the highest, so it's the easiest for the win token. Um, so what you can do is stack these boxes over here. High enough so that you get the win token. Wait. Boing. Get the win token. What you can also do is just stand in here and then um, Match can jump high enough out of the water to reach the win token without any boxes. If you want that. Okay, match gets to the end. And then I can finish these solo. Book, wow, okay. Then I scube, which you don't want to touch the heaters. That one's pretty tricky, okay. There it is. 50. Okay, 50 throw, book over the spikes. So it's over here, you want to jump from here to here without the spikes in the way. Drift back to the right. Okay, book needs to go over there again to turn on the yellow switch. Okay, we can do ice cube next, jump over. Okay, match can either wait for this to get out of the way and jump over, or match can run right through. Fifty-one, one token is at the top right. Flip over the switch, so you can jump over the here to not burn yourself, but you can move book and ice cube out of the way in case you are burnt. Um, don't touch them, but you hit yourself on the ceiling there, flip the yellow platform on. Match goes back up here, but we need book. Up at the top right too. Alright. Flip the blue blocks off. You can jump and get. Oh, no, you can get the wind token. Then get all the characters to the end. Alright, we are at the very last level. There's going to be a spike wall approaching to the right. So we want to work fast, or we can just recover to the left of the spike wall. Turn on the L platform. Take this big HPC to the last one token so that lean on the edge here, which can jump in between. We got the last one token. All we need to do is finish. Okay, Ice Cube can jump over there. Um, you can make that, or you can air throw a match over there. And then recover them. And yeah, flip that blue switch so that the uh, blocks at the top go off. And celebrate because you're done with the last level. You can pick up match here when you're walking on the platforms. There we go. 52 win tokens in all the levels. Except for 53 because I can't do that and no one can yet. I'll I'll show it. So there's a giant wall over here, but if uh, you can grab this wall enough, you get over there, and the wind token will be over here. But no one's been this so far. That is all the wind tokens. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I have a second channel where I put all of my speedruns because I speedrun this game. 
And uh, I will also link down a BFDI 5B Discord if you want to talk to people there about the game. We have level editing, speedrunning, just talking about the game in general. And um, you can also watch my walkthrough, which is um, like this, except I go in depth about how to beat the game without any win tokens. That is going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching this win token tutorial for BFDIA 5B. Thanks for watching.